So why in the world will they not let you join the military if you've got bad credit? So this is a question that I actually get a lot and people will send me messages on social media and they'll be like, hey, you know, I've got really bad credit and I'm worried that, you know, if I join, I'm not gonna be able to join the military because I have bad credit. Is that true? And the answer is yes. But if you don't have bad credit and you're feeling like picking up a Jim Fidel t-shirt, you know, you can get 20% off with code WORTH. I just wanna throw that out there. I felt like that was a good, pretty awesome time to say that. Now, why is that? A lot of people kind of think it's a little bit stupid that you can't join the military with bad credit. Now, there's actually some very valid reasons behind that. Now, one of the first reasons that I would say is why you can't join the military with bad credit is because if you have really bad credit, now this isn't just like, oh, I have some student loans or I got, you know, a home payment, a mortgage, and I got my car payment, or maybe just a normal amount of student loans, but this is like, you've racked up a lot of credit card debt, you've had some foreclosures, you've got, you know, a bankruptcy, you've got a whole bunch of collections and stuff on your credit report, that is kind of the bad credit, not just, oh, I've got a bunch of student loans kind of thing. But if that's you, the Army's looking at you like, you know, you have kind of let this get out of hand, you can't take control, you can't take care of your own personal responsibilities, so why is the Army gonna trust you, why is the military gonna trust you to take care and you know be responsible enough to take care of the the military's roles and responsibilities that you have to then do so that's kind of how they're looking at that they're looking at you like you know you're really not as reliable it's kind of like literally a credit check like you're just not as reliable now it's not like if you have just a low credit score again it's not like if you just have you know some normal amount of student loans you know it's not like if you just have like normal debt that a lot of people have this is kind of a little bit more on the extreme side. The other thing is, is if you do join the military and you have bad credit, that means you're gonna be a little bit more susceptible to be doing things that are gonna make you money that might not be you know, totally legal, that might not be the best thing in the world. You're gonna be doing things that other people wouldn't do if they have credit, if that makes sense. You know, obviously it's not, you know, you could be like, oh, I'm such a good person or whatever, but the army's looking at you like the, you know, you've got a 400 or whatever the lowest credit score is. You got a super low credit score. You know, you've got $100,000 in all this debt. You know, you have all credit cards are all maxed out. You know, you've, you know, you've had your car repossessed you know, your home is getting taken back and all this stuff and they're just like, you know, we don't want to take on this problem because what'll happen is you're gonna be put into a unit and then all of a sudden your leaders, your platoon leader, your platoon sergeant, your squad leaders are gonna to have to kind of help you through all of this crisis because that's kind of what the army does, right? So whenever you're in the army, you're in a unit, the higher ups kind of need to know what's going on in your life. Not in a creepy way, but like they need to know, like, you know, if you're having any kind of financial stress issues going on because they need to know that for the unit readiness, the cohesion of everything, make sure things are running smoothly. If you're prepping for a deployment, they need to know if you're like running behind on all of your rent or running behind on these things. So it's kind of the Army's way of saying, you know, just take care of yourself first and then, you know, you can join because they don't want to take on all those problems as well. The other thing, if you have really bad credit, let's say you got a whole bunch of debt racked up, right? You got a couple hundred thousand dollars in debt racked up, you join the Army, well, guess what? That kind of makes you susceptible to being bribed for information, to kind of, you know, screwing over your country, treason or whatever. Like it's it's kind of like a thing, like that's what people do bad things for. They do it for a lot of money to kind of save their own butts. So if you have really bad credit and you have like a lot of, you know, debt that you've accumulated, you know, some, you know, somebody could come up and offer you, you know, a half a million dollars, a million dollars to do something and you're gonna be a lot more susceptible to do that because you're like, oh man, I've got like $200,000, I got my home, you know, I could pay all this stuff off, I could just do all this and I'll be, you know, set. That kind of puts you in a bad position to again, make bad decisions related towards money that don't work out so well because that's kind of how you got in that situation to begin with is you didn't make the smartest decision with money so then they're just assuming that you're going to kind of continue to make bad decisions with money so they don't want to deal with it. So that's basically why the military will not take you if you have really bad credit. Now I will say that 
the different branches, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, or whatever, they have slightly different standards on what qualifies you to be credit eligible. Your, your credit is good enough or your credit's not good enough. They all have kind of different requirements. Some of it's based off of how much debt to income you're going to make in the military, not how much income you're making now, but let's say you have a debt or multiple different debts and you know it's piled up to be two thousand dollars a month in debt the payments that you're gonna have to do and then when you join the military you're gonna be making like twenty five hundred dollars a month or three thousand dollars a month that is a very high debt to income ratio and they're gonna look at that and be like mm, no but that is gonna be it for this video and if you guys actually do want to pick up one of these t-shirts the reason I mention it is because they did restock the triggered t-shirt so you can get 20% off the code war that's the reason why I mentioned that earlier in the video so hit that like button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that would just be fantastic if you're not following me on Instagram or snapchat follow me on Instagram and snapchat it is amazing I'm just kidding I'm my snapchat and Instagram I'm just like I just you know you know like today I was just sharing you know, my computer issues and stuff with you guys. I don't know why you would want to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. It's just, you know, sometimes I'll post stuff about working out. Sometimes I'll post stuff about a video or sometimes I'll post and I'm going to live stream. I, I mean, follow me if you want to. It's there. People ask me what my Instagram and Snapchat are. It's always here on this video. If you're still watching this, you're, you're just a champ. You're a champ. I just want you to know that because you're just amazing. You don't even have to like the video at this point. You just, you've watched this much of the video. Like that's, that's enough for me. I appreciate it. You're amazing. Have an amazing, an amazing day. And I will see you later. Drop.